我要。Uh, seems like we got another Supreme Court justice in trouble. Are、uh, they talking about how that Alito guy? He had the flag flying up, flying upside down on his house after January sixth insurrection, and、uh, and had another some flag over there at another house, and and it's like, oh no, that one represents a flag that a lot of the insurrectionists used, and oh no, what are they gonna do? Because we're supposed to expect him to judge. The people that committed all these crimes, when、uh, he's flying flags which support it, I I don't know. They're trying so hard to、uh, to find a way out and make it sound like nothing. Yeah, his wife did it at the house, and and the one at the other house with the instruction pine tree. Um, well. Just ignore that altogether. Nobody will remember it if you don't talk about it. They learned that trick long ago. They're trying so hard, and it's difficult to believe anything they say. Just rationally, it makes sense that, yeah, he saw it there. He doesn't give a shit. I was looking in the picture to see if he actually had. A light on the ground to fly up at the flag, because if he doesn't, that means he has to take it down every night. Your flag has to be lit overnight if you keep it up. Otherwise, it comes down every night at dawn or dusk and goes up at dawn. So, for somebody to fuck up the flag upside down that many times. I have a hard time believing she could even put the flag up there on her own. You you got to have a couple people to do it. Oh, unless you want to leave it laying on the ground. Oh, if it touches the ground, it's in the rules of the flag. I got it around here somewhere. I am sure.、Um, if the flag touches the ground, you're supposed to have a ceremony and burn the fucker. Not like burn it like a in in、uh, protest, which. I'm sure that's what how they do it. If they decided they were going to burn it to follow the rules, they'd make it look like it was in protest and throw it in the middle of the street, douse it in gasoline, and let it go for everybody to see. Hey, yeah, you decide for yourself what it is I'm doing. If I don't like your decision, I'll just tell you it's wrong. I found a way to make it simple for him, a believable reason. And they're gonna thank me for this. But it's thirty thousand dollars because I, I charge thirty thousand dollars for every idea somebody steals from me. It, it's in in here, so it's it's law. You want it, take it. But thirty thousand dollars. I used to when I'd be back in Gaylord for whatever reason, as a layover, a you know way station type of thing. I grew up right next to the cemetery, so coming back from the bar in town, which is just a mile away, you take the railroad tracks and you cut through the cemetery to get home. It's peaceful in there, and it, it takes a lot of time out of your zigzagging and shit like that. And、uh, for a while there, I started.、Uh, I go. To, I see the flag is right at the front of the cemetery at the entrance. I would have to go out of my way to get to that sometimes when I did it, but it had a light, so that flag waved all night long, and it was in coordination with the rules. And there are a lot of lot of veterans in that cemetery. Should probably become a national cemetery or at least a state veterans cemetery because you hit Memorial Day, there are flags everywhere. I, I got one. Keeping it for my grave. I'm gonna put it on there myself. But I would look at that flag every time I went by, and then it finally hit me. That flag's all the way at the top. Everybody is in here dead. Veterans and babies and and. 
widowed wives. Oh, everybody in there is dead. You're supposed to wave your flag half mast when somebody dies. But when it's every goddamn day and it's on their property, it seems to me that the flag should always be half mast at a cemetery. Just a little glitch in the rule that we can all be okay with. Not everywhere I'm saying you have to have a reason to fly your flag half mast in protest, upside down, in protest, whatever. Right? That's you're supposed to have a reason when you do something like that. And if if people doubt you because of your reason, it's your own reasoning that created the problem. So I just started going through. At about, you know, 2.30 in the morning when I'd be rolling through the cemetery, everybody's sleeping in the neighborhood on this side of it. Nobody goes the other way. They're afraid of the cemetery. Uh, you don't even whistle when you go by the cemetery. You don't want to gather anything's attention. It's a creepy fucking place. I've seen things. I've done things. I just started going over the flag on the way home. And I've done flags from Boy Cub Scouts. I was in Weeblows for a bit, but I quit that. It, it just seems stupid to me. And I'm sure it's not that way for everybody. But where I was, they put me in with a guy that had glasses that you could see the moon with. And he was not Down syndrome, but he was severely mentally incapacitated. He was a nut. Ah, he died young just because he was genetically defective. They gave him and me for this project the first day I'm there at the ambulance house for wee blows. Cub Scouts were fun. Um, they gave us something and they gave us a hammer and they said, you guys decide. And then here there goes Scott Gerluski takes the damn hammer. And I'm like, geez, this monster's got a hammer. And I was just a little guy. He, and he's, ah, and I'm like, geez, uh, I don't like the way these things are getting paired up so much. So I fucking quit. Another one of the best things I ever did. If I had gone into the military as a, an Eagle Scout or something like that, I probably would have been a fascist. <laughs> it's, it's only a guess. So I'd go and I'd unravel the, fl the flag rope off the, t -t 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 I can do it like a pro. And I'd bring it down half mast and I'd tie it back up and I'd continue my walk through the cemetery home. And, uh, in the morning, it would be half mast, and then it would go back up when the county where the city workers showed up to take care of the cemetery, and then I'd bring it back down. And pretty soon, my dad starts saying, "I notice that flag's half mast a lot when I go by in the morning. Is that you?" <laughs> Nobody, I think, in the end, as far as whatever it's different now because i've got victoria but in the end there was nobody that knew my father better than me he's the first one that guessed and i did it and i'm like yeah he says well you're gonna get in trouble and i explained they're all dead and he's oh that makes sense so he he enjoyed it after that but uh see the thing is you want to take all doubt out of the stories that Alito didn't know that his flags were all fucked with. You just tell him it was me. Oh, <laughs> just because it's Memorial Day doesn't mean you need to remember anything. <laughs>